Welcome back to part two of building a two by four Lego brick. I've cleaned up the scenes a little bit, named some nodes, and we're getting ready to build the inside of the Lego brick. So first things first, we're gonna throw a edit poly modifier, go to face sub selection and do a inset. And our inset needs to be 1.2. Again, we're working in millimeters. Awesome. And then we're going to do an extrude operation too. And we need to extrude 8.6. I've created the inside. Turn off face selection. Sanity check. It's looking pretty good. Let's immediately jump over and do the same thing in Houdini. So we'll take a look at our brick and we'll also look under it. In this case, we don't need to drop down a edit poly because we're always kind of editing at the sub-object level in Houdini. So hit select, make sure we're on primitives, and remember primitives are faces. Select the bottom. In this case, we go to polygon and poly extrude, or we can hit tab and hit poly extrude, either way. In this case, we're gonna do the inset first again, 1.2. Here we can't just keep adding new procedures like we did over in Max, where you can use an one edit poly modifier and just keep editing the heck out of your geometry. Over here, we're going to add another poly extrude just to do the extrude inward, because if we try to do it here, it's not going to do what we expect. Let's do another poly extrude. This time we'll just hit the shelf tool. It dropped a poly extrude down over here. And this time we can do the distance of minus 8.6. There we go. If we hit W for wireframe, we'll see, look at the merge. We're pretty much seeing what we expect to see. The next thing we'll do is these three bottom tubes that are inside the brick. As always, we'll start in max, hit T, we're going to create a tube. Okay, random. The outside radius needs to be half of 6.51, 3.255. And why? Why is that? Well, let's look at this. So we're not flying blind here. If we look at the schematic, we'll see that the outer diameter of the tube is 6.51. So for the radius, we need half of that, which is 3.255. And then the inner radius is gonna be half of the diameter, which is 2.4. 2.4, and the height is going to be 8.6. We need no height segments. We need a whole bunch of sides, let's say 40. Let's look at it from the side, and yes. Now let's move it into place. We'll just say Control V for a copy, say Instance. Hit F12, Transform Type In, and just move it eight on the off-screen Y. We'll make another copy and move that minus eight. You can see them. You can see that they're perfectly lined up next to the other circles. All right, let's look at the, whoa, there it is. Turn off the grid and we'll see those three dudes are just where we want them. Let's move over to Houdini and we're gonna do the same thing. Spacebar H and let's make another tube over here, tube. And remember that's tab, start typing, hit enter. You probably know that by now. So there's our little tube and its radius needs to be 3.255, 3.255 and the height of 8.6. We'll do our trick, copy parameter. The center is paste relative reference divided by two, puts our tube on the grid make our two polygons and give it about 40 columns. Okay, so let's make some end caps on here. And we need to make a tube, right? Max makes it a lot easier to make tubes, I think. So in this case, we'll take this tube, we'll go to select, make sure you're on primitives. Now we can go from the bottom or the top, I'm just gonna do the bottom, and we're gonna do another poly extrude. You should be understanding this by now. And in this case, we want the radius of the inset to be the difference of the radius between the outer and inner. So that's 3.225 minus 2.4, and that's 0.855. Now we want to extrude this upward. We're gonna say poly extrude again, 
and we want to move it minus 8.6. Now we've got a nice tube, but we've got this funky stuff at the top. So we're going to go to select again. We're going to select that face. There should be two faces there. And we're going to hit delete. And we blasted, you see that over here, a blast is put down and it blasted or deleted the two faces I had selected. And here's their numbers up here. We don't need these faces. If we hook this up to the merge, we'll see that the tube meets the top of the brick. So we don't need a top of that. All right, so there's that guy. Now we need to copy this. Let's go to uh, spacebar two. Yes. It's always exciting when a hotkey is the one you think it is. I'm going to take that tube. We're going to make two copies of it, right? So this will be the middle tube, and then we'll make a tube that goes to the left by putting a transform down, not a soft transform, a transform, right? So this is essentially making a copy over here of our tube. We want to move that on the X. We know we need to move it eight millimeters. So we'll just say translate on the X minus eight. Now that copy's there, and we want another copy. Hold down Alt, move this guy, and we'll make this eight. We'll plug these both into the merge. It's getting a little ugly there. Spacebar one, spacebar H. Now we've got our tubes right where we want them. You can adjust how these plug in here by moving them around. So transform two would be at the left, uh, the blast would be the second one, and transform three will be there. Now that's less insane looking. We can also move these around. So let's be organized a little bit. Let's call this inner tube left, inner tube right, and we could leave blast to remind us what that node is, inner tube mid. Eh, not too bad. Okay, now we've got, again, the same results in both programs and a pretty similar workflow. I think in some ways Houdini is easier. I like copy to points, it's very convenient. I wish Max had a tool like that. Making copies like this with transforms is uh, it's very easy. But I jumped ahead and prepared to make the little studs that go inside the brick. Here's a little stud. It's 0.6 by 0.4, which is twice as wide as the schematic says, because I'm gonna center it. It'll make sense in a second. I'm gonna snap two points. I'm gonna grab this guy, and it's gonna snap right there. So he's sticking out 0.2 millimeters, right? And it doesn't matter that he's embedded inside it. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, so then we wanna move him down, hold down shift, Snap, we need three copies. This is just what we did before. That's why I didn't want to go over it again. Hold down shift, move, get that guy in the middle. And so those studs should be where we want them. We don't need this box, I'll just delete it. There's our studs right where they need to be. Of course, there's two more studs that have to go at the top and we use the same technique to do that. In Houdini, I created the same thing, a, a grid. That's 24 by 13.4. And I made a little box, which is the little stud. And in this case, we're going to do a copy to points again. Hopefully you figured this out. Here's the object copy. Here's where we're copying it. Copy to points. Again, turn off transform using target point orientations. And let's see if this guy is where we want it to be. Spacebar one. And again, we've got the things falling in the center of Houdini space. I turned off the grid to make things easier to see. Let's look at that box. The center should be the size on Y. Paste relative reference divided by two. And now we'll hook this into the merge, look at it, and we've got our studs. 99% of our Lego done. I'll let you do the other two studs yourself. But as we leave, let's just do one last thing. Let's just add another edit poly. Find the edges of our box. The only edges we don't want are, we're gonna chamfer. 
We don't want these edges, but everything else should be fine. We'll quickly do a chamfer. I think 0.2 millimeters and about four. Should do the trick. That looks nice. We can even rename our edit poly to chamfer edges. And since we had instances up here, we can do the same thing here. Edit poly edge window crossing. Chamfer. And this time 0.25 four and we got a beautiful beveled edge now over in Houdini that's pretty simple too right so we have where's our box I called it brick body so after this poly extrude we can hit s for select go over to edges select them all wrong object poly extrude select all the edges There we go. Again, we we don't want to do control click. We don't want these edges. Now we just throw down poly bevel, put in the same numbers, 0 0.2 and uh, four divisions. And we should have a pretty nice bevel here. Let's see this. That looks nice. Turn off wireframe, nice beveled edge. Now let's jump over to the stud, our original stud, let's say. Let's turn this back on and we're gonna bevel it right at the beginning of its life over here. Select again. And we're only getting the top because we enabled this up here. Tab, poly bevel, hit enter, 0.25, four divisions, maybe, maybe more, maybe six to make it extra smooth, maybe even eight. Now, if we look at our copy to points, transform, it transformed up. Let's just look at our final merge. And we can see our final brick minus the four studs we need to build in there. And there we go. Let's put it in perspective over here so it looks similar. And there we have it. Let's turn off wireframe and we've got our Lego brick.